Well, doctors are calling her case a miracle. A nine-year-old girl is out of the hospital tonight and just started fourth grade at Eden Hall Upper Elementary School after a near-death experience. But Joseph Vasek has a guarding angel and a support system that knows how to have hope when tragedy strikes. One bead of courage for every procedure Josie Kovacic has gone through at UPMC Children's Hospital. And by the time that we were done there, she had thousands of beads. Josie's mom, Tracy, says it's a sign of just how far she's come since February 27th. Me and my family were going skiing. I'm not going to say I don't remember. Just more than six months ago, Josie's grandpa, Joe, took some of the family skiing at Seven Springs. It was just a beautiful day. When a snowboarder lost control, crashing into her. The impact detached her, her head from her neck by about two inches. There was no pulse. Uh, there was, uh, she wasn't breathing, and I was just scared to death. I, I just started praying praying that another loved one wouldn't be taken too soon. That's the first thing I thought of was Michael being gone. Michael is Josie's dad. He passed away in 2015, running the EQT 10 miler in Pittsburgh. He was very healthy and tragically, he suddenly collapsed and died at the finish line. Josie says when she was near death, her dad was looking out for her. Just had this feeling. In those tense moments, she was revived by ski patrol and flown to the hospital. Josie came to us with a neck injury called an atlanto-occipital dissociation, which is a dislocation of the neck, separating the top of the neck from the bottom of the skull. Dr. Michael McDowell says patients with this injury usually die before they even make it to surgery. So the fact that she even got there, it, it's, it's an absolute miracle. Josie braved about three months in the hospital. At first, she was unconscious and on a breathing tube. But day by day, she improved. And when she left the PICU to start rehab, a standing ovation. She may never eat normal again. She may never speak normal again. and. Uh, it's she's already completely eating all of her meals and it's just her recovery is amazing. Not only is Josie now eating, but she's walking and talking. I think that um, she has a newfound confidence. Just six months later, Josie is making okay. remarkable strides. I feel extremely grateful for where we're at now. And with her dad watching over her, she has a bright future ahead. Josie has a purpose in life and um, you know maybe she hasn't been defined yet but she, I, I believe she does and this is going to have a big impact on her. It sure will. Josie is just remarkable and her family tells me that everyone at Children's was just amazing throughout this entire experience and her mom Tracy told me what gives her peace in all of this is that Josie is back home, the family is back together. It's breathtaking just listening yeah. to Josie and hearing her talk. And she's back to school, fourth grade. Someone definitely watching out for her and that family. 100%. Beautiful story. Thank you.